Hello, folks, and welcome back to our channel. You tuned in for a brief video about Alexander the Great. Let's get into it. Picture a young prince, barely out of his teens, inheriting a kingdom rife with internal strife and external threats. This was the world into which Alexander was born. A world where the weak were devoured by the strong, and only the boldest could hope to survive. But rather than cower in the face of adversity, Alexander embraced it, channeling his fiery spirit and unyielding will into a singular purpose, to unite Greece under his banner and forge an empire that would stand the test of time. Alexander the Great, also known as Alexander III of Macedon, was one of the most renowned military leaders in history. He was born in 356 BCE in Pella, the capital of the ancient kingdom of Macedon, located in present-day Greece. Alexander was the son of King Philip II of Macedon and Queen Olympias. Alexander the Great's empire, at its peak, was one of the largest the world had ever seen, spanning approximately 5 million square kilometers, 1.9 million square miles. This vast territory extended from Greece in the west to the Indus River in the east, encompassing parts of Europe, Asia, and Africa. To put it into perspective, his empire covered regions that are modern-day Greece, Egypt, Turkey, Iran, Iraq, Pakistan, and parts of Afghanistan and India. Alexander's conquests expanded the boundaries of the known world and brought diverse cultures and peoples under his rule. His empire facilitated the exchange of ideas, languages, and trade routes, fostering a period of cultural exchange and synthesis known as the Hellenistic Age. However, after Alexander's death in 323 BCE, his vast empire fragmented into smaller kingdoms ruled by his generals, marking the beginning of the Hellenistic period and the decline of his unified empire. As Alexander's armies marched across the known world, they left a trail of destruction and awe in their wake. From the mighty Persian Empire to the rugged mountains of Afghanistan, no obstacle was too great for the Macedonian phalanx, led by their indomitable king. But it was not just brute force that propelled Alexander to victory, it was his strategic brilliance and unwavering determination to succeed against all odds. Whether facing off against the formidable armies of Darius III or navigating the treacherous terrain of the Hindu Kush, Alexander's genius shone brightest when the stakes were highest. Even in death, Alexander's legacy endures, a testament to the indelible mark he left on the world. His empire may have crumbled in the wake of his passing, torn apart by rival generals vying for power, but the ideals he espoused, of unity, of greatness, of the relentless pursuit of excellence, live on. From the libraries of Alexandria to the monuments of Athens, Alexander's influence can still be felt today, a reminder of the enduring power of one man's vision to change the course of history. Alexander's death marked the end of an era and triggered a power struggle among his generals for control of his vast empire, leading to the fragmentation of his conquests and the rise of the Hellenistic kingdoms. Despite the uncertainties surrounding his demise, Alexander's legacy as one of history's greatest conquerors and military leaders continues to captivate and inspire people around the world. If you are interested to discuss any ideas or have some feedback for future, let's discuss in comments and I will meet you in the next video of Planet Ponders.